sharing so we don't forget here. All right, so we are live. All right, so it looks like um, some neck work today and some hips and lower back is what we'll we'll work on. So um, before we do that, in this class, one of the things that we always do is our a little bit of breath work, and then we always do our immune system boosting exercise as well. So we always start out with that. <clears throat> so sit any way that's comfortable. Again, if you need to sit in a chair, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to come down on the floor if, if that doesn't work for you. So just sit any way that's comfortable. And what we're going to do today, <clears throat> excuse me, do today is a three-part inhalation followed by a forceful exhalation. So for that three-part inhalation, what you're doing is instead of having one long inhalation, you're going to separate that out into three sections. The first part or that first one-third, try to breathe down into the lower part of the lung. And then the second part, the second third of that breath is going to be in the middle of the chest. And when you start doing this, it might seem a little, little weird, but the more you do it, the, the better you get at it in, in, in separating out the different parts of the lung capacity. And that second part, when you start to learn how to do that, you'll actually feel the rib cage kind of expand a little bit out. And then the last third of that inhalation comes from the upper chest. And you might feel like the upper chest or even kind of in the shoulders are, are lengthening or extending a little bit. So just do the best you can. When you get to the top of that exhalation, then we do a forceful exhalation. And that's all through the mouth. So it, just let it all go. So let's, let's do this. So... Inhale one third, two thirds, full deep breath in, hold briefly at the top, and then exhale with the side. <sighs> We're going to do that again. So breathe in one third, two thirds, full deep breath in, hold at the top, exhale with the side. <sighs> again, breathing in one third, two thirds, Full deep breath in, hold at the top, exhale. <sighs> Going to do it two more times. Breathing in one third, two thirds. Full deep breath in, hold. Exhale with the side. <sighs> one more time. Breathing in one third, two thirds. Full deep breath in, hold. Exhale with the side. <sighs> All right. Okay. So a little bit of breath work today. Let's uh, loosen up the lower back. So we'll do some circles here. And then sit up nice and tall and then go in the other direction. So I have a, um, I can't say the name or she'll start talking. She's actually in the other room. It's not Surrey, but it's the other one that starts with A. Anyway, for some reason, she started just talking. I didn't say her name, so I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> anyway, she started talking to me. All right, that was weird. All right, let's move up to the shoulders here and do some nice big shoulder rolls here start to open up the shoulders and then point the elbows down and then go the other direction think of making big circles with the elbows All right, and then we'll do a little bit of neck work to loosen things up. So first of all, just bring the chest, chin down towards the chest. 
let the head hang. So we're not forcing anything here. Keep those shoulders down away from the ears. And then lift the chin and bring it up towards the ceiling. Open up the throat. Relax your shoulders. And then bring the chin back down towards the chest. And this time, if you want to just make a few little micro movements here, moving just a little bit from side to side. Sometimes loosens things up a little bit. Back to center. And then as you inhale, lift the chin up and open your throat. Allow your head to hang back. There should be no pain when we do these. If there is, you want to back off that movement. Relax your body. Let's do that again, bringing the chin down towards the chest, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears, allowing the head to hang. And then again, if you want to maybe make a few little micro movements, just moving a little bit from side to side. And then from here, Bring the chin back up so that it's parallel to the floor. We're going to take the hands, interlace your fingers here, bring them behind the head. And then what I want you to do is I want you to bring and start pressing the hands in towards the back of your head as you bring the head back. So there's a little bit of an isometric here. It's going to look like you're not doing anything, but you're pressing back towards the the palms as you bring the palms forward so this is very good for strengthening the neck here you're pushing forward with the hands and you're pushing back with your head and then release that Just relax a little bit we're going to do that again so interlace your fingers behind the head and then this is called an isometric you're pressing the palms forward as you're pressing the head back. Again, it's not gonna look like you're doing anything, but it's actually very active, very dynamic type of exercise. All right, and then release that. All right, we'll do one more exercise for the neck right now. So bring the chin down towards the chest and then make some big circles here. Just move in one direction right now. Again, there should be no pain when you do this. If you're feeling any pain, you want to back off the movement. Think of making a big circle with your nose. And then the next time the chin comes down towards the chest go the opposite direction. <clears throat> and then one more time, bring the chin down towards the chest and allow your head to hang. This time don't move any anything from side to side here. Just bring the chin down towards the chest. Keep those shoulders down away from the ears. See if you can feel that nice stretch in the upper spine, into the neck, and then down into the shoulder area. And then lift the chin. Let's do a few more of these big circles here. Loosen up the lower back. Might feel that a little bit in the hips and the thighs as well. And then go the other direction.
All right. And then let's bring the feet out in front of us. And we're going to loosen up the ankles and the feet a little bit. So if you, you need to bring your hands behind you for a little bit of support here. And then point and flex your feet. And then press the heels out and hold. And then you can relax that. And then just tap the feet a little bit. Bring the knees up and then back down. Get a little energy in the legs. All right. Okay. We're going to come down to our back. So you want to come down to your to the floor here. And bring your back to the mat. And you're going to bring the feet to the mat. So both knees are bent. And then from here, keep. Keep the feet on the floor. If you need to bring the feet out a little bit, you can do that, but keep the feet on your mat. Bring the arms out so that the palms are facing up. Roll the shoulders back and down away from the ears here. Your arms are out to the side. It looks like a big T that you're making with your body. And then keep both shoulders and the arms on the mat. You're gonna bring the knees down to the left side. The knees don't have to touch the floor. It's more important to keep those shoulders on, on the mat here. You're doing a little gentle twist in the middle thoracic area of the spine as well as into the lumbar and into the hip. And then we're going to come up through center. Again, the feet stay pretty much on the mat. And then bring the knees down to the right. Again, the knees don't have to touch the floor here. We're going to do that again. So bring the knees up through center and then over to the left. Relax the body. And then come up through center and then bring the knees over to the right. And then up through center. Now bring the arms up overhead. Here's what you're going to do. Keep the arms up overhead right now. Bring the knees down to the, to the left and bring your arms over to the right. And if you want, turn the head as well. So you get a little bit of a turn in the, in the upper spine and the neck area. And then turn the head back so it's looking straight up towards the ceiling. Bring the arms up. And then bring the knees up. So everything is, is pointing up towards the sky. And then bring the knees down to the right. And then bring your arms over to the left. And then turn your head to the left. And then turn your head back. Bring the arms up first. And then bring the knees up through center. We're going to repeat that a few times. So let's bring the knees down first. The knees come over to the left. Turn your head and the arms over to the right. One full, nice deep breath in and out here. Relax your body. And then turn the head and turn, bring your arms up and then bring the knees up. And then over to the right side. So knees go down first and then bring the arms over turn your head. One full breath in and out. And then turn your head back through center, bring the arms up, bring the knees up through center. Now you're going to bring the knees down to the left side again. And now I'm going to give you a couple of choices with the arms. You can bring the arms out behind you or bring them to a T. In either case, the palms are facing up. And then again, turn your head to the right. And we're going to hold this. We're going to hold this for about a minute. So I want you to really relax here. Maybe close down your eyes. Notice your breath. You're not forcing the breath in and out.
Relax your feet, your toes. Relax your legs, the hips. Lower back is relaxed. Middle and upper back, the shoulders, the arms and hands are all relaxed. Relax the, in the neck, the head, the face. Notice your jaw. Jaw is and teeth are slightly separated here. The face is relaxed. And then wherever your arms are at, they can just stay where they're at. You're going to turn your head back so that you're looking up towards the ceiling. And then bring the knees up through center. And then bring the knees down to the right. And then turn your head to the left. And again, one full minute on this side. Relax your body here. Notice your hips, the thighs, and the lower back. Relax the middle back, the upper back, shoulders, the arms, the hands, the neck, the head, the face. Relax in the thighs, the legs, your feet, the toes. Notice your breath. Simply watch the breath coming in and out. And then turn your head back so you're looking straight up towards the ceiling, and then bring the knees back up through center. And you can keep your hands where they are, either up above or to a T. As you bring the knees in towards the chest, and then wrap the hands around, but bring the hands behind the, the, the thighs here, underneath the knees. And then bring the knees out to the side, so you're separating the knees out. Point the, think of pointing the knees out towards maybe the armpits here so that you start to really open up the hips. Relax the legs, relax your hips, relax the thighs, feet are relaxed, the toes. That lower back should feel really nice in this, nicely supported. We're going to hold this for a good minute, moving into maybe two minutes here. Again, as you hold this, really relax your body. If you become aware of thoughts moving around in the head, simply bring your attention back to your breath. The jaw is relaxed. Gently breathing in and out through the nose.
and then release that. First bring the feet down to the mat, and then extend your legs out, and bring the arms up overhead. And then I want you to stretch here. So point your toes and stretch the arms out overhead. What you're doing is, is lengthening the spine here, neutralizing your spine. And then again, bring the knees up towards the chest. And this time bring the arms out again so that they're in that T. Or again, you can bring the arms up overhead and then keep the feet up off the mat and start to turn and move the knees down to the right. Now try to keep both shoulders on the mat. So again, the knees don't have to come all the way to the floor. It's better to have both shoulders on the mat and feel that nice twist in the, in, the, in the middle mat back here rather than trying to push those knees down to the floor and then bringing that other, it would be your left shoulder up off the floor. Bring the knees back up, bring both shoulders to the floor and then relax the legs here, relax the knees. This is also a time where if you have a little pillow or a, a blanket or something so that if you need to prop up your legs here and support the legs, you can do that. This class is about relaxing, releasing any tension in the body. So as you're in these poses, you don't want to be fighting against your body. You shouldn't feel like it's it's tense or really that fighting um, sensation. Instead, it's just the opposite of that. You want to really relax. So use your breath too. You know, as you breathe in, think of creating a little bit more space in different areas of the body. Like for this one, maybe the hip area and the lower back. And then as you exhale, Think of releasing and letting go. There's, there's no reason to be holding on to anything here. So we're going to hold this for a couple minutes. And I'm going to get my cards and I'm going to read a card or two as you're in these poses. So a little inspiration for our day. This will give your mind something to focus in on as well. So, so this first affirmation says, I am centered in truth and peace. I am centered in truth and peace. I am centered in truth and peace. Relax your body. Use the breath. All right, 
So bring the knees back up through center. Again, the, the feet are off the mat here. And keep both shoulders on the mat. So again, the arms can be up overhead or, or at the sides here in a T. And then keep both shoulders on the mat as you bring the knees down to that other side. So it'll be your left side. Again, if, if you need a little bit of support, use a blanket or a pillow or something to support your legs up because it's better to have both shoulders on the mat here than it is to, to lift up and have that shoulder off the mat. You want to make sure that shoulder's on the mat. And then again, we're going to hold this for a couple of minutes. I'm going to pick another card. So this affirmation is, I bless my family with love. I bless my family with love. If I want love and acceptance from my family, then I must have love and acceptance for them. Sometimes we can be a little bit critical of family members. So if we can give that up and just accept them for who they are. Remember, no one's perfect, including our family. <laughs> Again, I bless my family with love. Focus on your breath. Maybe say that mantra to yourself a few times. Keep the mind focused. All right, go ahead and bring those knees back up through center. Place both feet on the floor. And then we're going to take and we're going to cross the right leg over the left. And then do some ankle circles here. So just move the ankle in one direction. Think of making a big circle with the toes. And then go in the opposite direction. And then we're going to bring that foot to the floor and then cross your left over the right. And then do some ankle circles on that side. Nice big circles. And then go in the opposite direction. Again, think of making a big circle with the toes. And then bring both feet to the mat, extend the right leg all the way down to your mat. And then what you're going to do is start to bring that leg up towards the ceiling and just feel a nice gentle stretch in the back of the leg. We're not forcing anything here. Don't worry about how far you can come up. You're, it's more about feeling that sensation in the back of the leg. So just a nice little stretch in the back of the leg. Try to keep the leg fairly straight. We don't want to lock the leg out, but 
but you don't want a lot of bend in the leg as well. If, you, if your knee bent, come out of it a little bit and see if you can straighten the leg. So you're only coming up until you feel a little bit of a stretch and then bring the leg down. And then we're gonna repeat that several times. Just do this very gently. So we're not forcing anything here. Bring the leg up, feel that nice stretch, the back of the leg into the buttocks, and then bring the leg down. Make sure that this left knee is bent. That protects your lower back as you do these. This is really good for not only the back of the leg, but it's also very good for the hip, the hip joint. And then keep the leg up, again, just until you feel a nice little gentle stretch. Have the knee fairly, um, the leg fairly straight. Little bend in the knee is all. And then press the heel out away. So you're stretching and flexing that foot. And then bring that foot down. And then, of course, we want to do that on the other side. So extend the left leg out. The right foot is on the mat. And then bring that leg up. Try to keep the leg fairly straight. There's just a minor little bend in the knee. Feel a nice little stretch in the back of the leg. And then we bring the leg down. It's very gentle. So we're not pressing really hard back or anything. It's not aggressive. You just want to feel a nice stretch in the back of that leg as you come up. So we're warming up the hips here, getting a nice stretch in the back of the leg. And then the next time the foot comes up towards the ceiling, press the heel out away from you. Just really feel that nice stretch in the back of the leg when you do that. All right, and then bring that leg down. Okay, now from here, we're going to extend that right leg again. Keep the left foot on the mat with the left knee bent, and then start to bring the knee down to the side. Now, as far as the, if the knee doesn't touch the floor or if you're feeling too much tension in your hips, again, use something here to Prop up that leg a little bit and support that left leg. Try to keep both hips on the mat. So we don't want the hip coming up. Let that hip to stay on the mat on the right side. As far as your arms, the arms can come out again in a T posture with the shoulders down away from the ears and the palms up. It can be more at a V angle here. It can be on your belly. Or if you want, you can bring the arms up overhead. I personally like my arms up overhead because I feel a little bit more stretch, not only in my shoulders and the chest area, but I also feel it more in the torso coming up. But again, totally up to you how you want to hold this. And we're going to be in this for three minutes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale here with the sigh. Relax your body. If you're feeling any tension, especially in that lower back or the hips, if you need to adjust yourself, adjust. And also, as you breathe in, think of bringing more energy and more space into that area. And then as you exhale, release. Let go of any tension. If you feel like you're holding, see if you can release that. And then I, I picked another card here. This one is, everything I do is by choice. Everything I do 
is by choice. I'll say that again. Everything I do is by choice. So being mindful, mindful of, of the actions and the thoughts we have. The other side of this card says, I now listen to what I say. And I don't say anything that I don't want to become true for me. So think of being positive in your thoughts, your actions, and your deeds. I now listen to what I say. I don't say anything that I don't want to become true for me. Everything I do is by choice. Focus on your breath. Relax the body. We're going to go one more minute on this side. Everything I do is by choice. Face is relaxed, the jaw, gently breathing in and out through the nose. In this practice, we practice quieting our body, practice quieting our mind, focusing. All right, we're going to bring that left knee back up through center and then bring both feet to the mat and then extend the left leg out to the mat. Keep that right knee bent and then bring that down to the right. And one side might feel a little bit different than the other. That's perfectly normal. I know for me, my, my left hip is a little bit more flexible than actually my right hip. My right hip always seems to be a little stiffer. So just be okay with where you are today. Remember there's no competition or judgment. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Letting go. So this card is, my mental pattern is positive and joyful. My mental pattern is positive and joyful. Everything in my life, every experience, every relationship is a mirror of mental pattern that is going on inside of me. It's a lot in that card. Everything in my life, every experience, every relationship is a mirror of the mental pattern that is going on inside me. My mental pattern is positive and joyful. Relax. 
relax your body. When the body relaxes, the mind can relax. When the body is calm and still, the mind can be calm and still. My mental pattern is positive and joyful. All right, go ahead and bring that right knee up through center. Bring both feet to the mat. The knees are bent. And then try to have the feet right underneath the knees. So we don't want the feet too far out away, or we don't want them too close either. So, so try to have the, the feet right underneath the knees here. And bring the arms to your side, or the arms can be out. I like having my arms to the sides here. We're going to just start peeling the hips just a little bit up off the floor. Doesn't have to be real high. And then start to bring the spine back down to the mat. When you do this, totally relax, especially in that lower back. So you're tilting the pelvis here making sure that you really relax in that lower back. And then as you start to peel the spine up off the mat, again, you're, you're um, flexing or bringing the pelvis up towards the sky. So you're tilting the pelvis forward. And then come up just a little bit towards the, the shoulders here. It's not way high. And then start to bring the back down to the mat. Again, make sure that you relax and tip that tailbone down. And then again, tip the tailbone in as you lift the hips up. Just move with your own breath here. Relax, very gentle. So as you inhale, you're lifting up. And as you exhale, you're moving down towards the mat. Again, make sure that when you come down, you fully relax in that lower back. And think of tilting the tailbone, bringing the tailbone down a little bit towards the mat. And then again, tilting the tailbone up as you bring the hips up. And then the next time the back comes down to the mat. Again, make sure that you really relax here. And then just move the hips from side to side. So you're moving the hips left and right. The knees will bend from left to right. Move to left to right. All right, now bring the feet in together. And then bring the left knee down to the left, the right knee down to the right. This again, this might be where you need like a pillow or something on each side here to prop up the legs a little bit. 
you want to feel an opening and you want to feel a little bit of a stretch, but you shouldn't be fighting against your body. And then as far as your arms, again, they can be in your heart center, the belly can be out to the side. Again, I like rolling those shoulders down and then bringing the palms so that they're facing up. Or you can bring the arms up overhead. You're going to feel a little bit more stretch in your torso up through the center midline of your body into the heart and the chest into the shoulders. And then we're going to be in this. Let's go for three minutes today in this one. I'm going to read another card. This is, I am a harmonious being. I am a harmonious being. I am in harmony with all of the people, places, and things that surround me in this world. And I am at peace. I'll say that again. I am in harmony with all of the people, places, and things that surround me in this world, and I am at peace. I am a harmonious being. Relax. Notice the breath coming in and out. The jaw is relaxed. Teeth are slightly separated. You're gently breathing in and out through the nose. Maybe do a little body scan here, starting at the crown of the head and moving all the way down your body, and seeing if there's any tension. And if so, stopping where that tension is and seeing if you can release that with your breath. Relaxing, letting go even more. I am a harmonious being. I am in harmony with all of the people, places, and things that surround me in this world, and I am at peace. We'll go one more minute. Relax with each exhalation. Next time you inhale, let's gently bring the knees up through center. 
and then stretch the arms out behind you if they're not already. And then do a few, we call these windshield wipers, keeping the feet on the mat and just moving the knees a little bit from side to side, just nice and gentle here. And then extend both legs down to your mat. And bring the legs out so they're fairly wide. And see if you can open up those hips a little bit and point the toes out away from you. And then bring your arms. The arms can be in a V overhead or down below. We sometimes call this a five-pointed star. And it's also your Shavasana. So as you lie here, we're going to be in our Shavasana for a good five minutes. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale with a sigh. And allow your whole body to sink down into the mat and let go. There's nothing that you need to hold on to. Allow gravity to do the work for you. Starting with the crown of the head, let's work down the body. So re relaxing your head and face, the temples, the cheeks, the jaw, your mouth, the throat, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, fingers. As you inhale and exhale, feel the subtle sensation of that breath coming in and out of the lungs. And then also notice your belly relaxing, allowing the belly to rise and fall with each inhalation and exhalation. Relax the lower back, your hips, the thighs, the knees, your calves, the ankles, the feet, and the toes. Entire body is relaxed. Going to read one more card. I take a deep breath and allow myself to relax. My whole body calms down. I take a deep breath and allow myself to relax. My whole body calms down. message on this card is it does not matter what other people say or do what matters is how i choose to react and what i choose to believe about myself again it does not matter what other people say or do what matters is how i choose to react and what i choose to believe about myself I take a deep breath in and allow myself to relax. My whole body calms down. When we practice quieting the body, we begin to learn how to practice and calm the mind. When we relax the body, we relax the mind. When we still the body, we still the mind.
Begin to deepen your breath slightly. And as you inhale and exhale, feel the subtle sensations of that breath coming in and out. And then begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. And then move your body in any way that feels natural for you. Eventually, with your eyes remaining closed, gently move yourself over to your right side. Take your time, there's no rush. And as you lie on your right side, Thank yourself for coming and meeting me on the mat today. Thank yourself for coming in and doing something for you, your health, your well being. When we take care of ourselves, we are in a better position of taking care of others. And think of one thing that you can be grateful for today. One thing that puts joy in your heart, a smile on your face. And then gently, with your eyes closed, bring yourself up into a seated position. Again, take your time. There's no rush here. And sit any way that's comfortable for you. And then once you're in a seated position, make sure that the shoulders are down away from the ears and then lower the chin down towards the chest. Simply allow your head to hang. We're not forcing anything here, not fighting against our bodies. Let's bring our hands into our heart center with the palms together. I always end our practice with a short prayer. May all beings find health, happiness, and inner peace. We end our practice with namaste, which means I honor the light in you. Namaste. All right. Okay, I hope that helped it relax you a little bit and stretch things out give you a little bit of relief for the day <laughs> and uh any 